<laughs> yes. yes. But like the, the comparison, like with me and some of the other would be something neat to see. You know, the Harry Centers at the Pirates playing in in Williams. Welcome back for the third period. The, what uh, kind of sparked this conversation, or this topic, was that I, I was just browsing through and I seen that the Los Angeles Rams posted a picture of their Super Bowl ring. And Super Bowl rings are always interesting to see, or just any championship ring is interesting to see, to see how it's designed, what kind of little twerks they put into it. So which kind of sparked this topic of just just different rings? And let's see here, I know there's a good amount see, uh Stanley Cup rings. I, I actually was able to see two of them at one point of uh, David, uh, D- Dave DeHamber Schultz. I was able to see t- two of his Stanley Cup rings from Philly, and dear, good Lord, they're <laughs> – seeing, well, see, seeing a picture of them, seeing, seeing a picture of them on somebody's hand, and then seeing them in person, wow. Just a Wow. What I – well, in, in in adjacent to this, I thought it was pretty funny you mentioned this because earlier this week on, on Uniwatch, on their ticker, they had mentioned that the NBA Summer League in Las Vegas plays for a championship and the winning team gets a, a, ch- a championship ring for the Summer League. Now, the Summer League is essentially like spring training for baseball. Um <laughs> so so they're getting a diamond encrusted championship ring for their equivalent of spring training. Cracker Jack box. Uh, that's t- to me that's a bit that's a bit much, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure we'll go with that. It's more than a bit much, but we'll just go with a bit much. I mean, it I mean it's spring training in theory. It's and, and most of these players in the summer league are <sighs> are basically prospects, guys trying to make the team, second or third string guys on the main team. Um, it's it just seems frivolous to me. It, it seems useless. I mean, you win a championship for making it through practice. A season of, pra- you know, like a summer of practice, maybe? Like, I, hey. I, I mean, they, they, they're they playing games in the Thomas and Mack Center, and that is a big major arena in Las Vegas. But at the same time, it's it's summer league. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not. Yeah. It's, 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 not it, reg- it's not the playoffs from the regular season. This is guys getting their conditioning back and. What do I know? It's like getting a ring for uh, for being the best record in preseason. Basically, yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's preseason basketball, and they're getting a championship ring for it. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, if that's what sparks a team to make it into the regular season with good hopes, hey, why, <clears throat> why not, right? <laughs> Ridiculousness. Wow. Yeah. So – just kind of looking over some of the rings. Uh, one kind of design I never got, and first time I seen it was with the was I think it was the Buccaneers. Uh, I'm actually bringing up a site right now for it here. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, that's the Chiefs. Okay, for the 2020 Buccaneers. It opens up, and that's a bit much. Yes, I'd be afraid of breaking it. I'd be afraid of just anything of that nature, just because of how much that, how much it's worth. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Inside of it, inside the ring, it has the the scores of the games that they played to win. It has the stadium. But again, I'd be afraid to break it. You know, that you have that open, it's going to break. 
Right. Unless that's just me overthinking that one. I mean, these things are probably good, what, five, six figures? I don't want to know because it'll make me cry, frankly. Um, yes, I, what I, I find interesting with the whole championship ring thing is how for all the leagues, they started off very simple. And over time, they just got more and more uh, grandiose. Yeah, it's just. And that's the simplest way to put it. Um, I will say now in regards to the to the ones for the Super Bowl, I do like the ones that include the Lombardi trophy on them. Even if jewelry is not my thing, I think it's very cool when they have the Lombardi trophy somewhere on the ring, specifically on that main part of the ring. Um, well, uh, 2018 Patriots. They have six Super Bowls. Well, they have six Lombardi diamonds on it. You know, like you can see the Lombardi trophies on them all in diamonds. And, you know, a bunch of the Stanley Cup rings have the Stanley Cup on them. Uh, and now I, I see the 79 you. Canadians have, have it. And then Tampa Bay has it on two of theirs. The Penguins have it on theirs. Detroit has it on theirs. Um, I think that's the thing, though, where I know the Blackhawks of 13 and 15 don't. The Penguins of 16 and 17 don't. The Capitals don't. But the Lightning do in 2020, and the Blues have it in 19. Now, what I, I found. Go ahead. I, uh, I did send you a video, Jason, of. Uh, it was from 2018 on how the Caps ring was made. And it's pretty crazy on how they're made. Yeah, it is. Like all the it little, all the little details that go into it. Well, I mean, and if you look at any team's ring, no matter what sport, there's a lot of really cool um, details on them. Like just some of the teams have their logo on them, and all the little details with the logo are just perfect. Um, well, look I thought up, that was look up the 04 Lightning. Yeah, I looked at that one. Yeah, because that one has – that was one of the ones I referenced with the Stanley oh, Cup. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I found really interesting with MLBs, where for the longest time the rings were very simple. Uh, it had a diamond a, – a, a, like a baseball diamond with, a, with a, a diamond in the middle of it. And it went on that, that through the 90s because the Braves had them like that. Look at the world's uh, the sixty pirates. Yeah, that's where that basically ha, started with. Has the ball field in the background too, um, which, is, which is interesting to have. Now, now, this isn't something like I would get into as a collector. I know like replica rings are given away at as a stadium giveaway uh, for certain teams. I know the Braves did it like twice this past season already. Um, but here's my story with that. You know my dad's a very big diehard Yankees fan. His favorite player, I don't, you may not know this, but his favorite player was Thurman Munson, who who died tragically in a plane accident uh, while he was still an active player for the Yankees. Um, and the, one of his seasons, they went to the World Series and won. And I found out that it was a giveaway for season ticket holders many years ago was a replica ring from that team. Hmm. Father's Day a few years ago, I bought one of those replicas for my dad. Oh, nice. Nice. He has, he doesn't display it anywhere, and, and me and him are very similar in that aspect, um, but he has a little collection of Thurman Munson memorabilia. He has a jersey, he has an autographed baseball card, he has the, the replica World Series ring. Um, it's we're sports fans and I know what I know the stuff he would like. Yeah, you know. Let's see here. Look at the O three Mariners ring. 
O three Marlins ring, you mean? Or, yeah, with Marlins. The, Marlins. With yes, the sorry. old logo on it, perfectly recreated with a baseball. Yeah, sorry. I've, I have <laughs> the Mariners on TV right good. now. Yeah, that ring actually looks pretty neat. Actually, I should be able to find the ring I got him in just a second. I know the 13 Red Sox actually displayed the World Series trophy in the background. All right. It's in the uh, the doc, so you can click on it and take a look. I'm bringing it up now here. Oh, nice. So that's the that's the the design of the ring I got my dad. And now keep in mind, this was a giveaway for season ticket holders, so it's not going to be diamonds or anything like that. But yeah, it's, still, it's that team that his favorite player played on when they won the World Series. So that's. That's why it was important for me to get that for him. Oh, still, I mean, it's, you know, it, even though it's, not, I mean, diamonds and everything, okay, great if it was, but, you know, still, it's just what it means. Exactly. Uh, did you see the Bulls trophies or the the, uh, the Bulls rings at all? Which one? The one that looks like a bull or? Yeah, that one looks interesting. I mean, I do like the 96 one where it has the NBA trophy well, on there. Well, I, I mean, they had so many by that point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Uh, so th this kind of falls in line with a discussion I had with Brad and Brig, our, our brothers from another show, uh, Baseball Together. Um, we were talking about the World Series or the, the Home Run Derby necklace. Did you see that? No, I missed that. So the Home Run Derby has a, a necklace a chain for the winner. And it's 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 exactly what you would think it is. Um, and I just happen to say, eh, I don't it, to me, it looks like the old outcast logo for the for the group outcast. Um, but to me, chain show, serves no purpose Surprise, surprise, I'm a championship belt guy. I think a belt is far cooler than a ring or a chain. <laughs> <laughs> and once their own, you know, to once their own. Uh, speaking of, of championships, did you see one of the Stan one of the, the players from the Stanley Cup championship team this year? Get, bought his kids ice cream and they were and they ate it out of the cup. Mm -hmm. I've seen that one. Yep. How cool is that? Uh, and unsanitary. <laughs> well, I think it was from '96 when Colorado won it. It was either '96 or '01 when they won it, where a player got their child baptized in it. Peace be with you. Exactly. I mean, think about it. A kid grows up. I got baptized in the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Maybe bragging that one for who knows how long. Uh, except when they're a teenager and they're like, ugh. Yes, My yes, yes. It was me. me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It was me. I'm the Stanley Cup baby. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I forget. I think it was a Detroit player where their child, I think, took a dump in it. Good Lord. Like it was a baby. I think it was. Don't hold me to that one. I think I heard that one. But still, just... Well, then again, as soon as, you know, Colorado won the Cup this year, what happens? Not even, not, not even a full 24... Not even a full... I want to say three hours with it? Not even maybe two? And they already dent the base. Because they dropped it. When you party hard... You go all out. They were getting together for the group picture. Oh, that's just unfortunate. I think I sent you the picture or the the the, 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 the link to it. But what also funny is I had to laugh. Guess who dropped it? An X flyer, <laughs> which has made me chuckle even more. Oh man! But now championship rings are. I mean, like I said, I've seen one, and it just always kind of sparked two. Just like to see them. 
just because of what they are. I mean, I know Jason, like you said, you're a belt guy. So, I, you know, for you to see that belt, you know, to actually see a belt used of that nature would probably be the same way. Uh, it's there a lot of money to get a ring used one. Oh, I bet. That's why I buy bootlegs. <laughs> hey, whatever works. <laughs> so on that note, that would be the end of the third. <laughs> Wrapping up episode 50. Maybe you'll be able to get a replica Flyers ring one day. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I wonder if there's replicas of the 70s teams. Thanks, Jason. I got to go look. Come on. Hey, just throwing it out there. Um we only got one plug at the moment um, because a bunch of shows that we typically plug are on hiatus. Uh, you can catch me monthly on the Philly Baseball Together podcast with my co-host, Tori. Uh, this past month, we did our mid-season special. Uh, we talked about June. We talked about the entire season as a whole. Who are our mid-season MVPs? What we want to see happen for the rest of the season and... We talked about everything and anything in between in a half hour because we even talked about our favorite places to get pizza at Wildwood. <laughs> um, so the correct answer is Max for the record, not Sam's. Max. Um, I like Sam's. I mean, don't get me wrong. I could it, pizza's pizza to me, other than you know certain places, but I didn't mind Sam's. Sam's is fine, but Max is superior. Have you had Max? No, we did not. We will probably have that next year when we go down because we already have it booked. Um, the last time I had Max, the slice was as long as my arm, as my as from shoulder to hand. That seems typical for a pizza down in Philly at a Flyers game because they actually show they actually show the pizza like. Like a, a little kid trying to eat, and the arm is fully stretched out, and it has great foldability. So that's that's important to me as a. And it's greasy. Pizza's got to be greasy. I don't want none of this non-greasy pizza. You can take that and shove it. If I'm getting pizza <laughs> and I fold it, I want it running down my arm. Okay. <laughs> Means I know I'm gonna die sooner than later. <laughs> That got really far off topic. You can find me and Tori on the Philly Baseball Together podcast wherever you get your podcast. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review on that. Um, this feels so short of a wrap-up. I'm, I'm extending it because typically we got five minutes of a wrap-up, and now it's like 30 seconds. Um, kind of odd. Kind of it's odd. Hiatus. Um, thank you for joining us for episode 50 of the Not Other Sports podcast. You can find us online through our link tree, which is always available on our YouTube shows and on the description for the podcast itself and wherever you get it. Uh, that link tree will take you to all of our social media sites. It'll take you to our creator site, our naspod.creator-spring.com. Go there. You can get your NASPOD gear, T-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, May have some new ones in the works after tonight's episode. Uh, <laughs> I know Brandon Stevenson's going to be pretty hyped to see the NASPOD, NASCAR-influenced one, because he's the one who suggested that. Um, other than that, uh, you can find us for streaming and download at Anchor.fm, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, and wherever else you get your podcasts. Please do not forget to subscribe, rate, and review. You can find us on YouTube. David edits those videos and posts them, uh, well, what, like every few days throughout the week? Yeah. Yeah, no, sometimes um, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. A lot of times. Try to, I should Sun say. Try Sundays, to. Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, you'll get your, your period-centric clips of the show, um, so you don't have to listen to the whole entire show. You can just listen to the first period, second period, or the third period. And that is on YouTube. Um, with that, I am Jason. I'm David. And we'll see you next time for our second year anniversary. Right. Have a good one. <laughs>